a raft of wandering otters and thank you for joining me today today is part two of our trip to walmart here in the city of marina and uh, the fun things mostly christmas stuff that i saw there and filmed so thank you well i filmed and some Scott's halloween father stuff had gang green. Yes, he did. and this breaking news just totally totally out of clear blue sky we're watching Biggest Loser and season what? 16. Season 16, Scott uh, Mitchell, who was actually an NFL quarterback, um, one of the teams was the Detroit Lions, right? Yeah. His father had gangrene because of type 2 diabetes. Okay, so just so you know. Um, anyway, uh, Please join us and come see what we see here in part two at Walmart in the city of Marina. And you know what? I'm going to say uh, a little good morning or what is it? Yeah, it's not. It's almost noon. But a little good morning uh, uh, from our family to you. Well, say your say. Hello. Thank you, Paul. And look at, what does a fox say still? See, isn't that a much prettier fox than the uh, the scary fox uh, mask I saw in uh, oh, yeah. no kidding. Walmart? Yeah, that was funny. I'll say. That scared you? Uh-huh. What scary kind of fox idiot. mask? He saw him Walmart. Ah, on it. You'll see. Face. The fo It looked like the fox had a beard. I know it was supposed to be its... Uh, too creepy. Like throat blah, area. Blah, blah. Yeah. That's uh, kind of how I felt about it. All right. Come see what we see. Good morning. For those of you that like Christmas villages, now they've got more of this stuff out here than they had last time we looked. But oh, look at there's a little train that goes around it. Oh, and of course it has a Walmart. Okay, so there's your train. There's Santa. Oh my goodness, look at that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, dog peeing on a trash can. Now, that is funny. Hello, I love that. A little bit of reality to underscore the Christmas experience. I like that. Got a windmill, and then, like I say, <laughs> vintage Walmart store. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I think it's, it's making it sound like it's been around since the 1800s. Funny. Vintage Cathedral, and then, uh, I saw this last time, Victoria Station. Uh, that's kind of interesting choice of words, because most... In the Midwest, most of the train stations are called Union Station, and I think it's because the Union Pacific was the predominant train that crisscrossed the Midwest. I don't know, but anyway, just kind of interesting. Um, toys for Tots, that's nice. Farm View, Fairview Farm, there we go. Gas Station. Christmas Tree Farm, Tall Pine Hunting Lodge, and then Feed, Seed, and Grain. There you go. Now, <clears throat> if all these were Department 56, most of these individual pieces would be anywhere from $70 to $120. So to give you a little bit of perspective, this is a really good deal. And then they've got a 20-piece set. It includes the fire station and a nice big yellow Victorian house. And here they are in real life, right there. Moo! And then oh, Huggins, Huggins, uh, that. And we've got another dog. This time he's not peeing on the mailbox. He's mailing a letter. Very good. Here's Santa, of course, just casually walking down the street. And then, uh, oh, greenhouse. I didn't see that. Okay. Look at that. And of course, what are you going to raise in a Christmas greenhouse? But Christmas trees. And of course, we already saw the... K 
carousel. And look at here, we got some more clock repair. Hot dog sales. Paul and I have threatened to have a little hot dog cart. French fries. Okay. By the way, that's what we call them here in America, all right? French fries. Well, freedom fries. Bakery. And then they have a different themed Christmas village, different scale. And they got all kinds of stuff here. Bakery, tavern. Oh, I like a tavern. And let's see, school. And eh, not so much. Toy store, tavern. Love you, tavern. Grocery store. And then they've got this little thing. Oh, look at that, LED village house. So this is kind of like an all-in-one little thing. And we got a miniature. Oh, you got like a gnome Christmas. Oh, how funny. Okay. All right. Don't tell Susan I got this. Of course, she's going to see this, but anyway. She's got a thing for fairies and gnomes. Okay. And... You got Santa. Uh, Watch the night before the Christmas. Go through the house. You're the blah blah blah. You're the blah blah blah. Okay, I think I know the rest. Oh, he's gonna keep going. Then visiting with horses and look at chicken with family. And then kids throwing snowballs, little buggers. Okay. There's a happy, cheerful snowman. And here's Santa handing out puppies. Oh boy, did he give the kid a, a, a some espresso too? Boy, what those parents do wrong. Here's a puppy. Santa gave it to me. Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> here's a little pro tip for you i got a smaller albeit smaller but i got a version of this at dollar tree you want eight dollars for this one just just so you know sometimes you can get your uh, decorating uh, wishes done uh little little more budget minded that's me god knows it had to happen someday right pigs have wings to get that. There's just no question. There's Minnie. Mickey's probably What's the fox right. say? Oh my god, this is hideous. <laughs> it's really smart to make a move on getting my baby Yoda yard decoration because a uh, Halloween one because I do not see him anymore. So he is gone. Going, going, gone. No more baby Yoda. <laughs> wow. He didn't last long, that's for sure. It was about a week ago I was here and bought the baby Yoda. Everybody wants an eyeball and a cupcake, right? These are all edible. 
Okay, so here we go. More Halloween decor. And then I got a shopping list I got to knock out. And that's not going to be very fun to... Quite pretty much, it's all work from oh, here. Another hard day shopping at uh, Walmart today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I am, like you say, I had a pretty good experience here uh, at this Walmart. Um, I, I do want to say, yes, I've been to some Walmarts that were, um, I felt like I was suddenly in a third world country and I'm not trying to knock the people that were there or people uh, were poor or whatever, but um, well, I guess there's just no way of not uh, offending someone anymore, right? But anyway, yeah, I, I've been to some Walmarts where I didn't like the experience. I'll just put it that way, okay? Um, anyway, I hope all of you had a great time. Uh, I hope all of you are having a, a, a great holiday season so uh, as it kicks off here and uh, uh, and I hope that um, you to see you in, let's try it again I hope to see you in our next video thank you and by the way that means thank you in sign language it doesn't mean something else like in a southern European context context but thank you for watching uh, our video. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next one. Raft of Wandering Otters. business person uh, you might be interested in uh, leasing uh, some of this prime real estate here to my right and build a hotel or retail establishments <laughs> uh, and you'd be mm, I want to say a quarter mile from the ocean Happy Halloween! Yay! I get the joke! I get it! Okay, yeah, that this is what I was talking about. I got this at Dollar Tree, and I just, uh, uh, in this video, I showed you one at Walmart that was maybe four times larger, but eight dollars. Eight dollars. So, just saying. I'm really starting to like Dollar Tree. Happy Halloween.